Hey Llama Group, welcome back. So when I was making these packets, I forgot that yesterday was Memorial Day and we didn't have school. Now some of you did complete the work yesterday and that means today is just gonna be normal day two. Others of you didn't. I didn't work yesterday either. So what we're gonna be doing is today we're gonna do day one and day two. I'm gonna go over all the directions and then tomorrow we're gonna start on day three. Wednesday will be day three. Now, that does not mean you have to do every single thing we go over. You're gonna pick and choose which activities you want to do. Okay, so pick a couple of the reading activities, a couple of the math activities, but you do not have to do it all. You could also do like half and half of the page, whatever combo it is, okay? So today you're gonna to do your normal things, including getting creative with art or music. Your first activity you have is a reading comprehension um, assignment about a surfing contest. So for this, you'd read the story and answer the short questions at the bottom. The next page you have is a mini book about ch words. So here it has the words that have that ch sound in it. So you're gonna read the word and then draw a quick little sketch to show it. This might be one that maybe you just read the words and then you move on. But if you wanna make this your art, that's totally fine. Okay, here we're gonna be comparing numbers. So when we compare numbers, we have the um, less than, greater than, or equal to signs. And you're gonna try to make that mouth, I always think of it as like a mouth, open towards the bigger number. So if it's an alligator, it wants to eat the bigger number. So looking at this one here, 31 compared to 51, 51 is the bigger number. So I'm gonna make that symbol open up towards the 51. I'm going to make it like it's eating that 51. Okay. We also have an activity about oceans. So make sure you check out our other video on oceans and then you can complete this sheet here. For day two, it'd be the normal things again, including getting some exercise. For this, you're going to read the story here. Now I know it says day one, day two, day three. We're going to do it all at once. Normally, if we were in class, we would do a little bit each day with a really deep lesson about each one. But because you're at home, we're going to do this all at once. So you're going to read this little story about Pat, um, who loves his teddy bear, and then answer the questions like, who is the main character? Who's the story mostly about? What was the problem in the story? Um, what do you imagine the story looks like? What happened at the beginning, middle, and end? You're going to match up the words that mean the same thing. And then you're going to think about a time that you lost something. What did you lose and how did you find it? For my kids, it'd probably be mom found it. Okay. Then you're gonna have, then there's a writing assignment about painting my bedroom. So it's imagine you were a wonderful painter and your parents would let you paint anything you wanted on your bedroom walls. What would you paint? Describe what it looks like. So you're gonna describe what you would paint on your walls if your parents let you. Okay. And then we have an input output chart. Now this all has to do with patterns. So before you can complete the rest of the boxes, you have to figure out what is the pattern. And how you do that is figure out what's the difference between these numbers. So if we do 11 minus two, we would get nine. If we get 14 minus five, we would get nine. So that means the rule for this would actually be add nine. Now I say add instead of subtract because we had to figure out the bigger number. We have the smaller number. And this is what we would start with. So if we counted on, we'd count on nine to get to 11. So here we would do eight plus nine, and that equals 16. So we'd write 16 in the box. Here we have six plus nine equals 15. So for each of these boxes, you have to figure out what is the rule? What are they doing? It's almost like you have one plus a number equals five. And you have to figure out what is that number. And that number would be the same for the rest of the box, okay? So this is one that it is completely new to, so just try your best on it. And then finally, you have an activity about pawns. So for this, you're gonna watch our other science video and then complete this activity. I hope you guys have a good day of learning, and I'll see you tomorrow, bye.